this is Mayella. Thank you so much for joining me again today. So today what I would like to do is go through how we can um, let resistance become our guide. Very often when we have thoughts and feelings coming forward and even with a lot of um, what I do, it's all about I give it permission to go, I allow it to go, I release it. What we're going to do today is play around with actually letting, giving the um, resistance permission to stay so it can act as our guide because there's something under that resistance, there's something under that initial resistance trying to get our attention, trying to show us and highlight something. So we're going to be playing around with that today and um, if you want to join in with an EFT tapping around that I'm going to be doing um, afterwards then stick around for that as well. So I've also done a video series about resistance to change and I've also done a video series about procrastination as well. So they're very closely linked to what I'm going to be speaking about today. So if you want, check those out. I'm saying it now so that I don't forget to, to let you know at the end of the video. So there'll be a link um, either at the end or, or in the description um, to, to show you where those are as well. So exploring resistance, resistance really becomes our guide and really then allows us to start either moving forward again, allow that natural flow to come forward again, or really um, give us that space for us to make changes and adjustments that um, clearly need to be made at this time. It also will help us to do what is right for us and to do what needs to be done by taking action because obviously the resistance it's grinding up against something so there's, there's non-action, there's non-movement, we've been stopped and there's a reason for that. By allowing feelings and thoughts to come forward with no judgment will also allow us to get to the bottom of what's really going on. So allowing those feelings and thoughts to come to the surface so we can then feel into them rather than pushing them down or ignoring them or mask masking them with, some, with something. What we're going to do is be brave and allow them to come to the surface. And then we can get to the bottom of it, you know, what is under the resistance. It could be that you're avoiding something. So what are you avoiding? Is it pain? Could even be pleasure? Is it going into the unknown? There will be um, no doubt fears around this in some way coming to the surface as well. So is the resistance highlighting something to you? Very likely the answer to that will be yes. So we need to work out what is it highlighting? Is it because the direction you're going isn't right for you or is it because it is right for you is it time to change is it time to step up and it could be that the resistance is because there's there's a fear about that there's a fear about going to that next level there's a fear about taking that next step up is it time to be honest with yourself and and maybe honest with others as well so the resistance is really highlighting something that needs to be addressed. It's also important to explore the fears that are coming forward and again not to mask them with something, not to cover them up, not to push them down but to really face them head on. The resistance is guiding you to look a little deeper into the why, into why you have the resistance in the first place. Why are you avoiding? Why are you stalling? Or why are you stopping yourself? It could be that there's resistance because we've got that inner guidance system really um, making it clear to you, trying to highlight to you that um, you may be going in the wrong direction. Sometimes we go along with what everybody else wants. Sometimes we go along with, with the norm or with the majority, but there could be that, that niggly feeling really telling you that, that it's not right for you and you need to be going in a completely different direction. So the resistance might be trying to protect you in some way. It also might be, you know, trying to protect you, but it, it's all about really then understanding why. Why is it coming forward? The, the resistance could be 
um, to do with your inner child. It could be really highlighting that there's some inner child work that needs to be done. The resistance very well might be showing you that your, that your inner child, that aspect of yourself is feeling unsafe. Therefore, it's important to investigate this a little bit further, to become the nurturing, caring, supporting, understanding, loving parent to your inner child that, that your, your inner child really needs. Why or perhaps what has unsettled that aspect of yourself? How can you make that part of yourself feel safe again? So it's important to, to really do what, what needs to be done at this time to get things flowing and moving again. So those are some questions that you really need to be asking yourself if you have got this, um, this sort of resistance, this pushback type of energy going on. So take some time for you, you know, quiet, quiet time, quiet space where you won't be disturbed so that you can really go under that resistance and find out what's going on. So if you would like to join in with the EFT tapping round um, to, to really allow those feelings to come forward a little bit more, then it's really important that you are fully hydrated before we do any energy work or before we do any EFT tapping. So if you haven't had a drink yet or you don't have any water at hand, please pause this video, go and get yourself a nice glass of water and then we can continue. So I'm just going to have a sip of water myself before we go any further. Taking full responsibility for ourselves and for our well-being, starting on the karate chop point. I give myself permission today to take the time to feel into this resistance and to allow it to show me where I need to work on my growth. Today I give myself permission to do what needs to be done to take the correct action for me and to deeply love and accept myself even with this resistance. I give the resistance permission to stay and to act as my guide. I give the resistance permission to bring up all my fears, to show me where I am right now and where I am getting in my own way. I give the resistance permission to reconnect me with my natural creative flow. To reconnect me to my true power, to reconnect me with my truth and to reconnect me with my highest path. Deep down I know that this resistance is sabotaging my progress and getting in the way of my successes. 
Yeah, I also know. Deep down, it's trying to protect me too. All these fears and doubts. They're blocking my movement and stopping my flow. I choose to listen to my inner child and I choose to give my inner child a safe place to work through these fears and feelings. I know deep down I have nothing to fear. As everything coming forward is my ally. Everything coming forward will serve as a guide to get me back on my highest path. I give the resistance permission to stay and act as my guide today. I will do what needs to be done in mind, body, and spirit. So I hope that has helped you in some way today. So now very likely you will start to have things coming up and showing up in your life to show you why you're resisting, what you are needing to do to really get things moving forward again. So don't push anything away, be brave, you can do this. You know, let the resistance do what it needs to do. It's coming forward for a reason. So let it show you now why it has come forward. So I'm gonna leave that with you today. Like I said, if you wanna check out those other videos, please do so. There'll be a link somewhere for you to, to find them. So I'm gonna leave that with you today. I am sending you so much love. I am hoping to see you again very, very soon. So goodbye for now.